It's very important to understand that our snakes are ectothermic. They're cold-blooded. And they need heat sources for their digestion, for their immune system. So when you set up your terrarium, it is very important that on one side we have a basking area or a heat area that should be high 80s to low 90s. And then a cooler area that can be anywhere from 75 to mid 80s. And that really all depends on your snake. This king snake, it can be a little bit cooler. For pythons and your constrictors, it should be a little bit higher in the high 80s and low 90s. It's very important to be able to monitor it because actually too much heat is more detrimental than too little heat in some snakes. And what you do is, is you get yourself a thermometer and remember that the snakes are living on the bottom. Now if you have arboreal snakes, then you should have one at the bottom and one at the top. So you know the temperature of where the snake actually is. So in the heated area, you want it high 80s. In the lower area, 75 to low 80s. You can use a heat tape underneath to keep a consistent heat underneath. You can also use heat lamps, those are the ceramic lamps that go on top of the terrariums. It is very important with those that you have a spacer or a screen to where the snakes cannot make contact, cannot get close to them, because unfortunately these guys will burn themselves. So it's very important that they have the proper heat gradient and that you take care that they don't hurt themselves. There's a few helpful hints on heat for your snakes.